No, that way. I need back up. Give me kisses, give me kisses. He lost me. He's got ho 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 in it. We have to have some. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Hey guys, now I'm gonna do a review on all these toys about Grogu. We're gonna start from the smallest to the largest, actually from the ugliest to the cutest, cause yeah, there are some here that I'm just not finding they're very cute. Actually, let's first start off with our key. Guys, quick, where did Mandalorian make its debut? What channel? The Disney Plus channel. This is the anniversary key, the first year that they've been in business, and it was back in the fall of 2019, and that's where we got introduced to Mandalorian. So I thought, hey, that'd be pretty cool just to have little memorabilia here. So that's the key to unlock our video here. First thing we got is this little night light. If you're afraid of the dark, hey, you won't be afraid with a Mando. That's the actual picture, the projected image with Grogu right beside him. As a combo, they make the perfect pair. I mean, when he's in trouble, you know, Grogu doesn't. <laughs> and the rhino just gets knocked about like you see here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the night light, guys. You can just look up and look at Mando just going, hey, any dark shadows coming in this bedroom tonight? There we go. There's the plug right there. And there's the eye that it shines out of. You can shine it up on the ceiling, or maybe if you got an extension cord, you could actually shine it maybe over on the side or high enough, you can shine it down on the floor. You know, kind of do a little Mandalorian dance. You know? There we go. And so, hey, that's your nightlight, guys. Super cool. All right, next. Now this one here is called the Child Squishy Light. And why is he squishy? Because of his ears. You can either do a micro USB power to it, or you can actually put batteries in. And there's two brightness modes. You can have dim. Of course, Rogu was never a dim bulb. He just didn't know how to talk for the first 50 years. <laughs> and look, on the back, you can collect them all. Oh, look, it says right here, touch my ears. Well, we're gonna touch his ears. Let's open them up. Oh, look, it comes with a power cable, micro USB cord. Nice. Oh man, you could cut your fingers on that plastic trying to tear that open. As it says, touch my ears. Well, I'm touching them. Quick, make a wish. He's got ears, the better to hear you with. That's yeah, just totally squishy. I mean, it's almost like a dog chew toy. And then, okay, at the bottom, you got the little screw that you can pull that out and put the batteries in. It takes three AAA batteries. They're in the AAA league. So guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this, see what it looks like. So we hit it once to turn on. That's a steady stream of power. And you tap it on the base and then it dims. Okay, so it just goes from to right to dim. Hey, if you put them in the corner of your room, just don't wake up in the middle of the night and realize you got these big black eyes staring at you. It's like, no, it's Grogu. You know, maybe a nightlight for the bathroom. Use the force. Does not hit everything with your toe and stub it. Find your way. Let's do this wallet, guys. This is a super cool wallet. First of all, the backside, at least one of the sides of the backside, you get Mando here. It's got that cool little southern scene behind him. And then on the other side, you got out in space is the child, Grogu. Now we know his name. And then on the inside is where you carry all the dough or your uh, Beskar. And then look at that, that's cool. You got a little signia for the snap to put your loose coins or your pucks, bounty pucks. Put them in here, maybe they'll fit, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you look on the inside of it right there, it's got a great design in there from the Mandalorian signet or the symbol that represents them. You got a few little pockets right there. And it feels really nice too. Of course, that's a big, huge wallet. I don't think I have a pocket big enough for that, you know, just right there. And someone's like, hey, he's got money in there. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just a decoy, but hey, which is more valuable? The hundreds of dollars you have in here or Mando the Collector Edition? Let's do our Funko Pops, guys. Okay, this one says it's a bobblehead. It's the Mandalorian with Child. And you can see on the back what you can collect in that series. Now, what's interesting about the Funko Pops is that even though they show you what you can collect, they have others, larger ones that they won't show you, you can collect on here, but they'll also show you the same ones that you see here. It's just like, you gotta keep looking at the store, you know, you just can't go and say, hey, I collected them all. Because as you'll see over here, we got the Banta. So let's focus on this one, and let's take a look at this one, see how cute he is. Oh, look at that. Okay, first he's a bobblehead. No, no, no. He's carrying him right here, and he's got his jetpack on the back. It both works as a design to secure him in place, but also you can look at it going, hey, he's blasting off into space, taking the Grogu away. Tap him. And here, again, you can see on the back, this one is just says the child and it's in his bag. I mean, what's up with him? We just bagged him and then he's gone. I mean, that's what the stormtroopers did, those meanies. So let's go ahead and I just love that. You get one of those in every single Funko Pop box that has the child. Oh, it's another bobblehead. That's all you do is bobbleheads. Will you be back in season three, Grogu? 
He's kind of shaking. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. We can't give it away. And he's got his little satchel he's in there. And that was the IG-11, the nurse bag. He got thrown in there by the stormtroopers. And then IG-11 is kind of zooming in. Pew, 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 pew. And he's just hanging there. <laughs> so anyways, for you collectors, that's pretty awesome. Maybe we're trying to go for the world's largest collection of Grogu's. I was gonna try to go from the ugliest to the cutest. I mean, what do you think of this, guys? He just looks like he hasn't eaten enough toads. <laughs> the little hover pram looks kind of cool, you know? And you just set him in there, and it's, if you accidentally fall on it or something, it will hold up, you know, just throw him around. Hey, hover pram! <laughs> Number 10, our top least cutest. No, their top cutest, well, we start at the bottom here. But, oh, gosh, you guys gotta see this. You thought we hit rock bottom with Fugly. <laughs> Camera mom got this at the store. It's not my fault. <laughs> Camera mom's like, it's got hot cocoa in it. We have to have some. <laughs> like, no, we don't. So it is. It's got the servings, the calories, the whatever corn syrups in there, you know. Do I dare pull him out and just really reveal his total like, ah, I can't stop. Skip, skip. <laughs> it's taped in. I'm going to free him from his tomb. We love all our Grogu's, but we were hoping for better. Maybe he'd look better on outside. <laughs> I will say this, his ears are super cool. The orange ears, I mean, come on, that looks awesome. It kind of reminds me of that Southwestern scene again. Got a lot of sand in his ear. And that's all it is, you get the nondescript bag. <laughs> the unit not labeled for retail sale. Okay, so it's just not as fancy or as cool looking as these others because what made Grogu so popular is it's just, oh, he's so cute. Oh, a whole lot of love in there going to him. This one we actually held on to, and it's a rollover from Christmas. It's a holiday chocolate. Okay, so you got the chocolate on the outside, then you got a surprise inside. And we already know what it is because on the back it tells you the ingredients for the chocolate and the ingredients behind the marshmallow. I don't know if we get any uglier than that. If you watch that Build-A-Bear, he's got a lot of wrinkles like a bulldog. They put too many wrinkles in his forehead. He can give you some stern looks. I mean, it gives him a little bit of expression, but too many wrinkles, he's aged before he's time. I mean, he's not even 51 yet. Oh. You can hear the marshmallow isn't soft. That's like a rock in there. <laughs> kind of reminds me of those marshmallows in the cereal. They're like hard rocks. They're not really chewy. That's it. That's just the foil wrap. Oh, and it's already almost broken. Look at that. Should we just drop it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Oh! It smells really nice, like chocolate. You seriously want to go to the dentist by taking a chance on eating this? I mean, hear that. What? <laughs> you could, ah! <laughs> this is like hard marshmallow. Well, hey, maybe if we got hot cocoa, we can let him put him in the, the top. <laughs> kind of melt. What a world, what a world, what a world. <laughs> okay, guys, so this one right here, this one's the child with egg canister. I mean, he was sneaking all those eggs. So those are the different ones you can collect, right? It looks like than the ones here because they got the same numbers. Yes, they do. Now tell me, anywhere up here for the child in the bag and then down here where he's eating the eggs, can you see where the child with egg canister number 407? I don't see it. You can't go on the back and say this is all you can collect because apparently they got more. You just have to look around. It's just so pretty. It's like, you know what you could do for Halloween, guys? I don't know if anybody's done this. Just carve that on a pumpkin. I mean, you go up trick or treat, and then you can just have a creepy voice from the bushes saying, we don't serve treats. Oh, look, and that was where the frog mommy was carrying the eggs on her back in this canister here, incubating him, I guess, in the goo or the water. And he's just reaching for one. He's gonna get it. No, I mean, that was kind of like a terrifying scene, eating somebody else's kids like that, they're frogs. But anyways, you know, the species evolved and he's a different species. And I don't know, they just eat flies. Pretty cool. Let's see, the eggs move. No, they're frozen in place. Next, okay, so here we go again. So this one is the Mandalorian and the child on the Bantha. And so on the back again, it shows you the same five you can collect, but it does include the Bantha. Well, we got it and we want to show it. Man, that is one Funko going pop. That's huge, that's heavy. You hear that, with, and they're all just like, yeah. Look at the detail. And there's the knapsack, he's got him in, and he's got his gun. I mean, everything got frapped in that big explosion. Oh, it's really cool looking though. The hair, his jet pack. Oh, and look how cute the band, oh, he's so cute. Yes, he is. Almost as cute as Grogu, just by sheer size, because the bigger eyes, the bigger the cuteness. When I look at Grogu, he's got such tiny eyes. Both sides, you got these sandbags or bags full of, I don't know what, maybe extra frogs. 
He's got his little mustache coming down. I don't know, it just kind of looks like a funny character. It would be a shame to always keep it like this because he's got such a cute face. Hey, if you're not really into the dolls and anything and just having them sit there, maybe one or two on the fireplace mantle is nice, but you could actually, hey, give a toast to the most. It's gonna be The Child and Mandalorian, and hopefully season four comes out and he learns a few new tricks. Maybe that lightning thingy, you know. There we go. These glasses are really cool. Oh yeah. So it says right here, it's like two 17 full ounces, not 16, so that way you don't have to fill it all the way up to the top to get your 16 ounces, but you get a little breathing room. So, you know, when you're walking along, I gotta get my 16 ounces, you don't spill all over, but you can have a little bit down below. I know you still got your 16 ounces. See if she wore it, the child. <laughs> That's Mandalorian speaks. I remember the language. I mean, it's what I have in my band here, the language there, right? Uh, that's uh, the Mandalorian, the child, and there is in that language on Mando, and there's a little child there. So it looks like it's the same, as near as I can tell, or somebody just got very fancy in calligraphy here. So guys, that's pretty cool. Have a Mandalorian party, and you got your Mando chips or your Mando cereal, whatever else they come out with. I like it, super cool. Let's do the walkie and the talkie. So it's the lights and sounds walkie talkies. Send, receive, character phrases, sound effects, and your voice. So you can give it a try. Send and receive character phrases, sound effects, and your voice up to 500 feet. <laughs> I want my next job. On the back, it gives you a little bit more detail there, where it says easy push talk button, power light up, LED, you got the microphone, you got the repeater, and then you've got the sound effects, and then the speaker right at the bottom. So cool, works up to 500 feet under ideal conditions. Let's go ahead and take a look. On the back, you got three different settings. You have your demo off and on. So this one's on demo and this one's off, but I wonder if this one actually has any batteries in it. Let me try it. No! We must stop the show. There's no batteries. We'll be right back. Okay guys, just open them up and you can see which one's not like the other. Well, it's this one right here because there's no batteries in them. So how do they get it to go in demo mode? Well, this is a battery that they put in. It's actually got those little button batteries and it looks like there might be quite a few. And notice how this one actually has the connectors in it. This one's got the same port, but no connectors. So only the demo will work in this one. So, you know, if you want to go back to demo mode, use up the batteries there, great. But you know what? We don't want to use demo mode. We want to be able to chat, talk and send and receive these messages. So you talk down here, you can hear up here. So here's my mic over here. Can you hear me? <laughs> here, camera mom, speak into that one. Where's Mando's voice? Oh yeah, we gotta send and receive voices. Okay, so if I push this one. I want my next job. I want my next job. That's all he says. Let's see if we can send it. That's cool. When you hold down the button here to talk and speak to camera mom, it actually lights up here. And when you hold it down and you push one of these sound effect buttons, it actually sends it. Camera mom says that she could hear it, so we'll have camera mom do it. So I'm not holding the button. You could totally hear it. Let's do it one more time. This is the way, now that's the way. And it works up to 500 feet, they say. So you just gotta put your yapper right up to it so you can hear it. You can actually do it at night. You can play hide and seek with this. So whenever you see this on, you, hey, there he is. You can run and you can say, Honey, back up. And then in comes the ugly Grogu with his hand flying around. Dun, 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 dun. Valentine's Day's coming up. Instead of saying it Valentine's, it's called the friendship exchange. And that's the actual size of the lollipop, the treat of your friendship exchange. There's no love in this world, just friendship. Well, that's what friends are. It's all about love, guys. There's the contents of it, what it's made up of. It's allergy safe in an allergy safe factory. So you don't have to worry about nuts or anything like that. Maybe just going nuts if you don't get enough of these. But let's just take a look and see what kind of, exactly what kind of friendship exchange we're doing. Oh, there you go. So you got a bunch of suckers. <laughs> okay. Look at that, guys. So those are all the suckers and here's all the cards. So we got three different colors here to choose from. Do all say the same thing? You're the best in the bar sack. Well, if Grogu said it, he'd be like, Aah. I'm all ears, Valentines. What's this one, the purple one? The force is strong with you. Either that or you need some deodorant. And look, you can write to and from. And then the sucker. Okay, so how does this work? Okay, so with the two holes here, you stick the sucker in like that. I'm a sucker for you. That's pretty cool, so wouldn't cost a whole lot. You know, nothing says love as a part of love is perhaps just loving because he's so darn cute. Pretty soon you forget who this is from. I said that to you for Valentine's Day. Will you put in pie? I don't remember you. Have a heart, guys. Like and subscribe.
Now this one is for the ladies or the gals. It's a purse pram. It's the PP. Yo, I got my PP. We're going out. The purse pram. We're going out night in the town. At least you got Grogu to come with you, but it kind of a little chain that just hooks on to it. And so it's got adjustable straps. You know, the gals can do whatever they do with this thing. I don't know. You could do an IG-11 version of it. You know, just holding over. It just looks like a pram, but you see how it kind of has got all these cuts in it? It looks like it's magnetized here. Pull that off and then, oh, slide it open. Lucky, lucky. That's cool. So it's all lined inside, no holes. Just it's all lined inside so you won't lose anything in there. Unless over time, you know, you start putting things in and out and it wears out the lining, then pretty soon money's flying out of the pram. And I don't know, you think you could put much in there? I mean, you're definitely making a statement when you go to your parties, guys. Would he fit? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> You walk down the street strutting your stuff. There we go. Now you can see. You know, or stick a little foo-foo in there, a little chihuahua dog. Ladies, what do you think? Or dudes, I mean, I don't know. You want to swing this about here. It could be a great slingshot. It looks cool. I, I saw it. I'm like, that's unique. Never seen anything like it. And this is by Danielle Nicole. It looked kind of cool. Just one of those fashion odd things that you're like, do you remember back in the 2000s and 20s, you know? Oh, where it's like, they came out the weirdest stuff. Well, this is going to top one of them. Unless it's a fashion that I'm just unaware of, guys. So, I don't know. Put in the comments let me know what you think i'm curious to see does anybody have one of these first of all and if you do you get compliments on it either that or it just looks like a snail in hibernation so guys this is why i got this one over here because if you watch the other video where we did the reveal on the animatronic version of them they actually have two different animatronics well they're the same but they're different they're both the same in that they look the same you pat them on the head You just have to smack him pretty hard in the head because once he got hit with the stormtroopers to get his attention, you really, anyways, I don't know. So what's the difference between the two guys? Well, this one over here comes with its own carrying pouch, a bag. So you can have the animatronics without or with the bag. So first on the front, up at the top, it says touch the head and it moves around just like we do with him. It converts for nap time. So you actually have a bag you can carry him in, touch the head to make sound and motions. And how many sounds and movement combinations are there? You see there's a total of 25 plus or over 25. So maybe it's 26, but it just sounds better with more than 20. It's the animatronic edition, and this one's different because it includes three in one carrier. I'm looking at this and I see a dude carrying this. No way. I'd never be caught wearing it like this, guys. Like this. IG 11, he's the nurse droid. We're not nurses. <laughs> you could be a male nurse, but it's more macho. Hey, you're carrying it. We got a package here. Don't touch it. <laughs> I want to carry it in the front, but hey, that's what you can do. So three in one knapsack, you can either carry it on the side, like I guess the lady's doing, or you can carry it in the front, IG-11, like the dude's doing, or you can convert it into a knapsack. On the back, gives you a little bit more. And it just shows you bigger pictures of carrying the front on the side and then going for sleep. And it goes over the same things that we went over in the other video, exact same things of Grogu here, the animatronic. You know, you lay him down, he goes for a nap. So let's just go ahead and do it real quick. Okay, so at the bottom, we got these little twist-ons. Twist them and they should come off. If you look at the bottom of his feet, it's the same. That's where it goes up into the holes to lock him in place so he doesn't fall out of his box. What's the difference, guys? I don't see any difference. We gotta get his little signet out. And it looks really kind of too big for him. So it'll work for us. And see, this shows you that you're in charge of taking care of Grogu. And then whoever's in charge, you pass it. Super cool. And you hand it to the next one in class. And then the teacher takes it away from the, because they shouldn't be focusing on Grogu. They should be focusing on calculus. Now for what we've all been waiting for, we bought this animatronic because it actually came with a bag. <laughs> oh, that's Velcro-y too. There's the strap. Two straps, two straps into one. Hey, it looks more like a fanny pack, actually. There's one side of it, and here's the other side. Okay, he's moving. We might as well turn him on, too. See, guys, no different. They both make the same sounds. Oh, look at his ears. And that's cool, and now if you lay him down, supposed to go to sleep. Shh, quiet. So, you know, there's the blanket you can lay him down in, put him in there. He's got his little knapsack. So now to be able to convert it into a carrying bag, what you have to do is you have to flip it up like this. Let's see if I do it right. And then the Velcro right there. And so there's the front part of what's supposed to look like. The And there we go. Cool. And then you can wear it like the dude, IG-11. Or, you know, like the girl. You know. Oh, God. There you go, guys. Three and one. <laughs> it's like, you just... Hark. <laughs>
I hear him. He is yet alive. Welcome. He floated up. Mm. See, the force saved him. It was just to show you the demonstration of his powers. Okay, guys, so last but not least is the bop it. It's Grogu, and whatever the sounds are, it tells you to smack him, to twist him, to turn him, you do it. And if you miss it, then you lose. The whole idea is to get the most twists and turns to get the highest number. Whoever does it without missing a twist or turn or a pull or a bop or whatever it is that it's asking you to do, wins. I guess it could go on up to forever? I don't know. Let's go ahead and give it a try, but you can see on the back, it tells you what you're supposed to do it. And there's only three. Now, the original Bop It had like the phone, they had the drinking, they had the burping. This one's just very simple. Just Bop It, twist it, and pull it. Let's see what happens. Oh. Okay, so how do we get started? Bop It, twist it. I told you that was a bad idea. Score five. What? I twisted it. Okay, yeah, we'll try one more time. Bop it to start. All right. I score 11. 11? Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Bop it. Bop it. Twist it. I told you that was a bad idea. I score 11. You gotta beat 11. I think that was Caleb messing around with this. Yeah, I think we ought to. But the hardest thing is his feet. If he had bigger feet, it'd be easier to like, it's hard to grab his feet to pull it down. I mean, the bop it, the twisting's not too bad, but those feet it just slip right off. Okay guys, last but not least, we got the child, Real Moves Plush. You can see he actually got a little wristband like Mando had in his gauntlet there. We actually controlled the little pram. Boop, boop, boop. Now you can wear this and actually control him and his movements. He interacts with wrist communicator. You can see how he turns his head, wave his arm, and then he'll move up and down. I guess he's on rollers or skates. You got the exclusive foundry finish pennant here. It looks pretty awesome. And then on the back, it says you can have him follow. You can have him curious where he goes in almost like a figure eight. You can do hide and seek where he goes one way and turns around the other. And you got sounds and it's all controlled by the joystick. And so let's have our joy with the stick here and see what we can come up with. There we go. Like I said, if you got wire cutters, it works really well to get through this stuff. And scissors is kind of the next best thing. Cool. Foundry finish. And will it go around my neck or is it the perfect? <laughs> it is, it's pretty tight, guys. I don't think it's made for humans, or at least me with this big, huge neck. So, hey, maybe it's better around him, right, guys? A necklace for our little Frogert. So you in the maiden knot, so the slip knot in the sense that when you pull the string in, it doesn't slip all the way through. It's too knotty up here and it's expanding too much so it doesn't bend enough so I can push it in here. Unless I use massive strength and like hurt me fingers trying to do it. Oh, look, it's got Velcro there. So here's our remote control here. I'm just gonna unscrew it. And triple A's. And we gotta get batteries in him too. I would presume they wouldn't already have batteries in them. And we got more destructions in here. So we gotta twist these things off and it's taped in pretty good. You gotta get the tape off around it here first. And then you twist it and you pull it. Yay. Woo. Okay, let's look at the bottom and wow, he's got his rollers, he has no feet, and we got a battery. Yeah, look, there are batteries already there. Okay, let's give it a try. Hopefully the batteries still work. So let's see, you got three switches here and it shows try me is on the X, O is for off and I is for on. Okay, so it's on right now. Oh look, you got a speaker down below there for his sounds. And then you got your wrist. There's my armband to control him. And then there's the instructions for what each button does. So the hide and seek looks like it's the blue and the force movement is purple and orange is head action. Yellow is follow, survive. And then red is for curious. And then uh, green is for sounds. And then the joystick has them going all over the place. So really, oh, there we go. Woohoo! Forward and backwards, turn, turn, back, forwards. Okay, yogurt, go out and get us some good eats. No, that way. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, we gotta have him make it some sounds and do some things. So first of all, we're gonna have some head action by pushing the orange. That was awesome, but man, did you hear that? That was like a mammoth machine at night. All these gears, that poor guy, he needs to go to the chiropractor. I mean, that was loud. That's cool. Let's go to Yeller, which is follow or survive. I guess he's following this to survive, so let's put him over here. Oh no, let's go back this way. So it's over here. He's turning to follow this. That's super cool. And he's got a sucker. He wants to give it to me. He loves me. He loves me. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Wherever you move your remote, that's where he follows. He's a great broom. Look at all the garbage he's picking up. <laughs> I just had to hit a bunch of other controls so he'd stop following this, you know. We haven't done the purple, which is force movement. So he goes, hmm, hmm, hmm. There he is. <laughs> That's just not smooth movement, is it? He wants to do a friendship exchange. <laughs> and you can see at the back of his head, there's where the IR comes in, infrared, Bluetooth, I don't know, whichever ones. So let's do the blue one now. The blue one is hide and seek. So wearing the remote, activate the mode, and the child will wait 10 seconds for you to hide. Then begin to search the room. I'll do over here. I'm gonna hide behind Bantha. Okay, ready? Blue. <laughs> hey, Yoda, you did good. That's my baby. <laughs> oh, let's put it over here. See if it can find it behind this Yoda. Takes him 10 seconds before he figures where the signal's coming from. It's kind of creepy, guys. Orson Welles, 1984. Ah! Oh, he knows where that remote control is. Oh, he's gonna knock over the ugly thing. Oh, he's gonna go, he's gonna find it. You found it, you win. The last one is the green one. And so the green one sounds. He's got some sounds in there. He's got quite a few. Okay, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and also give us a thumbs up. Like. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.